30,000 new consumer products are launched each year. The fact is that over 90% of these new products fail, 90%. That's after marketing professionals have spent large amounts of money trying to understand their customers' every want and need. Why is that? Harvard marketing professor Ted Levitt used to tell his students, people who buy power drills don't necessarily want to buy a quarter inch drill, they want a quarter inch hole. It's the marketer's task to understand the jobs that arise in customers' lives and exactly what customers are trying to get done when they purchase a certain product. In a sense, they hire products to do the job for them. For example, why would anyone hire a milkshake? It might seem like an odd question at first, but the market researchers who sought an answer to this question helped increase sales significantly. Marketers base their entire research around one question. What's the job that the customer's hiring the product to do? The researchers observed that nearly half of all the milkshakes were purchased in the early morning. When the researchers watched how the customer consumed the milkshake in the car, they learned that the customers needed something to make their commute more interesting. They also needed a snack that would hold them over to lunch. At other times of the day, it was parents that purchased milkshakes for their children. The job the parents needed to do was they were emotionally exhausted from saying no to their kids. Hiring the milkshake helped placate their children and help them feel like they were loving parents. However, milkshakes in that particular scenario didn't do that job very well. Parents often had to wait while their children struggled to suck the thick milkshake up that thin straw. Many shakes were discarded half full when the parents declared that time had run out. How could the restaurant improve the milkshake to do the job that customers want it to do? To tackle the boring commute job, the restaurant could swirl in tiny chunks of fruit to make the product more interesting. Or they could make the shake last longer by making it thicker to take even longer to set up that thin little straw. To address the job that parents were trying to get done with their children, the restaurant could offer a smaller milkshake or a thicker straw to speed up the process. Knowing what job a product gets hired to do can give innovators a much clearer roadmap for improving their products. Once you understand the job to be done, everything changes. The following table captures the three different views of the milkshake. In the product view, it's simply a milkshake. The demographic view lists the targeted age group at 25 to 45 years old for men and women. In the job to be done view, the milkshake serves two jobs. It is a companion during long and boring commutes in the morning, and at other times it helps customers feel like they're loving parents. Because many marketers do not approach the product creation with the concept of job to be done, they miss out on finding opportunities. Consider this. There are probably 20 to 30 million Americans alone for whom their car is their office. So far, there's not a single car that has been optimized for people who work from a mobile office. Yeah, hang on just a second. Let me, let me pull over and uh, find out what those numbers are. All you have to do is watch what car customers do to compensate in order to do the job they need to get done. When you study the customer's compensating behaviors, you quickly find that no company is providing the product to do the job that needs to get done in this instance. This idea of the job to be done is equally essential to leaders and managers inside of organizations whose customers are internal. As a leader, you need to constantly ask yourself, what is the job that my team and I have been hired to do? This chart illustrates the difference between functional view and job to be done view as it relates to an effective IT department from a functional view. Many IT departments add bells and whistles that have little or nothing to do with the needs of the units that use it. Jeff is going to love these new features. An effective IT department in the job to be done view will look at the key jobs that technology is supposed to do 
Instead of saying our job is to have world-class technology, they might say our job is to increase sales by 15% through proper use of our technology. This is way too complicated, okay? We have to put the address field in here, and then I put the address field over here, okay? And the history comes up, but only if I double click. Well, what exactly do you want it to do? Okay, well, the bottom line is we have to increase customer sales, okay? So this particular program needs to serve two major functions, take care of customer data, as well as the purchase history, and that's it. Okay, uh, I think, yeah, if I, uh, Do you think you can fix this? Yeah, I can, uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Sean. Hi. There, it's uh, all fixed. The address wow. fields are all synced up, and you can pull up uh, the purchase history with a single click. Well, that was quick. Yeah. Wow, great. All right. All right, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give this a try. How does a company identify the job to be done? Well, let's take a look at a successful company in Tuit. They developed a product called Quicken, a personal financial management software product. And to really understand what features needed to be built into the product, they would get permission from customers regularly who bought the product to follow them home and watch them install the product on their machine. And they would then sit in the background as they watched the customers learn how to use the product and they could see the features that they were clicking on and then have a conversation with them. You know, it seems like you use more of the register. By watching what they used, they developed a much better sense of what kind of improvements in the product would get them traction to do the job even better for those customers. Some of the customers actually didn't use Quicken for their personal finances, but they used it to keep the books for their small business. And they realized that the basic job that these small business owners were trying to do is they didn't want to keep the books. <laughs> yeah, just so busy and the other dimensions of running the business were so fun and engaging that to have to keep the dumb books was just a drag. And yet, they needed not to run out of cash. That was a big deal. And they knew they had to pay taxes at the end of the year. And so they just modified the product Quicken into a different product that they called QuickBooks. And they just made it so simple to get done the job that the small business owners wanted to do that they went from zero to 85% of the small business software market in two years. And here all of the other vendors to that market were improving on the attributes of their software to get better accounts receivables aging and depreciation reports and all of these features and functions that were just irrelevant to the job that most of the small business owners needed to get done. It's a great success story. Once you identify the job to be done, just like the milkshake, it will influence the choices you make and change the way you conduct your business. It will especially impact the success you achieve as a leader.